four British citizens have been killed fighting alongside al-Qaeda groups waging war against the government of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Mohammed Araj, seen here on the left, and Abu Hajama Britani, seen on the right, have been named as two of the four men from London, killed in August of this year. Security experts say news of Britons travelling abroad to fight shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. This recent episode in Syria is just the latest of a long line of similar episodes over maybe 20 or more years, where what might be called British extremists have gone to the world's trouble spots where they perceive uh, Muslims to be uh, endangered or where there is a Muslim cause to be followed um, and they put their lives on the line but also take many other lives. One of the first British men killed was Ibrahim Mazwagi, a graduate from the University of Hertfordshire. Of Libyan origin, reports say he fought against Colonel Gaddafi in 2011 before going to Syria. This footage obtained by Press TV shows Mazwagi in London before he travelled to fight. Somewhat ominously, he's seen joking around and pretending to behead a shabiha, a term used to describe forces loyal to President Assad. Intelligence estimates say that up to 350 British men have joined al-Qaeda in Syria, usually joining Muhajirin brigades, special units composed almost entirely of foreign fighters. Britain's policy of supporting anti-Assad militants has made it much harder for the domestic security agencies to control this phenomenon. So really you've got a dysfunctional policy that doesn't tie up foreign and domestic issues and doesn't see the consequences of Britain on one hand supporting in many ways this jihad because it's furthered British pro-Israeli, pro-Saudi foreign policy in places such as Syria, but also that they fail to see that there is inevitably a domestic blowback. The British government's policy of supporting rebels in Syria has meant that the counter-terrorism unit of the Metropolitan Police will have a long, hard fight on their hands to ensure the fallout doesn't result in fighters returning to the UK and launching terrorist attacks here. Issa Ali, Press TV, London.